And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. Today we're going to do something a little different than the PC usual stuff. What we're actually going to be talking about revolves around the Xbox One S and X. So all three, maybe. This is about FreeSync on the Xbox One. What we're going to do is show you real quick how to kind of set that up and get going. So the problem is I was going to use a capture card, but the capture card doesn't support variable refresh rate, which means you wouldn't even get to see the option. So I'm going to turn around. We're going to zoom the camera in. So we're going to have to do it that way, unfortunately. But you'll, you'll, you'll get the steps, and that way you can enable it for yourself if you have a display that will support it. All right, so here we are on the display. This is actually the new PX277, which we've already reviewed from Pixio. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be signed up for the Xbox Insider, which is really simple. All you do is go to the Xbox Store and download the Xbox Insider app and then sign up. So super simple. Once you've signed up, you want to make sure that you're enabled for the latest builds, which again is very simple. There's only really three options when you first get set up. But what you want to do is once you're set up and you can see this screen, you want to go over to the quest section and down here it'll have, which for me now it says completed, but it'll say test free sync. So from the time of this video, you've got less than 12 hours. So um, shows you how to, well, actually that right there is the notes on it, but it'll tell you the steps to it, which we'll, uh, we'll put those on the screen as we're talking. So you will have seen those. It's very simple. Uh, so we're going to actually go through back to the home page. We're going to open up the settings. That's where you want to go. Hit your home button. You got all of this. Go down to settings. Once you've updated everything, go to settings. Go to display and sound. You're going to go to video output. Now, this is a 1440p monitor, so it's set to 1440p, which that's one thing I've got to give them credit for. I really like that you can scale the interface and the uh, UI. So that, that's really nice. Um, then you're going to go over to advanced. So you've got video fidelity and overscan, which that's really not where you're going to be. You're going to go to video modes. So um, let me go ahead and tick that for some reason. I unticked it earlier. Oh, 50, sorry. TV down. Okay. Um, go down to variable refresh rate. See there? Eliminate screen stuttering and tearing during gameplay on monitors that support Radeon FreeSync 2 technology. Now, I did say whenever I was setting it up that it does support FreeSync 1. Okay, so FreeSync 2 technology, you may notice some choppiness while playback game capture is enabled. So there is a notification on that. Just simply click allow variable refresh rate. Um, yes, keep this setting. So it's ticked. Now, a lot of monitors will give you the option. I know the Nixius, the View 24, had an option where you could hit the down button on the the um, monitor itself and it would show you in the middle the, your current refresh rate unfortunately this monitor won't do that it'll just bring up and show down here your current settings it'll but it's going to constantly say 2560 by 1440 at 61.6 61.7 hertz oh wrong one so load up metal gear solid again like i mentioned the Twofold on the problem with actually showing FreeSync working is the games that I have for my Xbox all run at either 60 or 30 hertz or 30 FPS or 60 FPS refresh rate. So even if this monitor would show the variable nature of the display, eh, well, the games that I have really wouldn't show that. Like I said, going back to it, this is think, follow this more of a tutorial rather than a demo showing Free, FreeSync working on the Xbox. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Hope you found the video entertaining and enjoyable and uh, educational, maybe, if you were trying to figure out how to turn on FreeSync on your Xbox uh, game console. So, catch you in the next video.